I wonder why you think that this piece of art went for so much money. Was it the underlying value of the, of the piece, the hype around NFTs, or perhaps the fact that they allowed payment in cryptos? What, what do you put it down to? I think it's a perfect storm of a number of factors. I think you're seeing, you know, the price of crypto, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, at near all-time highs. You're seeing a Coinbase IPO of some of the biggest names in the city, like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and Citigroup taking to market, which is institutionalizing the ownership of these cryptocurrencies. Um, and, you know, you've had Christie's and an incredibly talented artist, uh, Mike Winkleman's his name, uh, Beeple selling this work. And so I think it's really a wake-up call for the birth of what people have talked about for a long time, which is this creative economy, where the creators are out front and center. And more importantly, there's this new generation of wealth that are willing to purchase uh, art as an NFT. Good morning, Robert. Can I just ask, did you actually watch the auction live yesterday? I did. I was also in a clubhouse chat with uh, Beeple and a bunch of others as the last minutes were coming through. And um, I was in a, uh, a chat when it started. And in fact, we were all polled and asked, what do you think this work will sell for? And I think the highest person who was laughed at the, at the room at the time was $50 million. So when it came in and finally <laughs> sold for $69 million, we were all amazed. Um, and you know, as I said, I think there's this kind of collective shock that's running through uh, the industry at the moment in terms of just how much someone is willing to pay for a JPEG. Um, however, you know, when you look at this, I think it's important to separate what is clearly an overhyped market right now, what is clearly a very frothy market, from what is, I think, a more interesting underlying technology, which is the um, use of blockchain to certify and verify uh, creative assets. Um, and I think that is here to stay. I won't embarrass you, Robert, by asking you what your estimate was, given that we know that none of them hit the target. Um, but I, look, look, NFTs make sense to me. Uh, blockchain technology for collectibles, for art, for physical assets, for st stocks, for property, all make sense. It's the digital art bit that I'm still kind of really, really struggling with. And you mentioned there that these, you know, there's a current bit of hype. But given this is just the start of this, do you think that last night represents a massive premium for an art piece that we won't see often again? I'm not saying never again. Or do you think it's just the start of a much, much bigger craze and we're going to see even higher amounts go for, for new pieces in the future? We're living in unprecedented times uh, currently, and this new generation of crypto collectors are very comfortable with collecting digital art. That's very clear. This isn't an isolated case. You know, you saw a market that uh, up until the end of last year was perhaps only 20 million in terms of its value, and now three months into this year is over a billion. So this is much more widespread than a few isolated collectors uh, vying amongst themselves for an expensive asset. I do expect to see more and more creators releasing works that are, you know, digital assets that people are buying as tokens. And let's talk about why this is significant, because for many of these collectors, they're already familiar with the sort of um, smart contracts that underpin their virtual currencies. And so for them, they're buying um, this asset in a similar way to what, how they'd be buying a virtual currency themselves. So it's actually bringing new people into the market who perhaps are buying NFTs before they've even bought a virtual currency. Um, I certainly think mm. that this market is going to grow. Um, I would be surprised if you can see any sale that beat uh, Mike's uh, last night at Christie's in the short-term future. And you certainly sound optimistic and positive about these latest developments, Robert. I wonder if there is a, a part of you that, that is concerned at all about whether the, uh, whether the crypto world is perhaps hijacking the art market to sort of drive some crypto hype. And I ask this because one of my colleagues wrote a piece suggesting that this is possibly what's going on. Those who want to prove, who have a lot to prove about, about the value of crypto or about uses and applications for blockchain, like to look on the art market as a way of getting publicity for those views. Do you have any concerns around that? Well, I, I think, you know, we did an article uh, last December uh, entitled Our NFTs, the Future of the Art Market. And what we were seeing is that these digital artists were coming to Verisart and they were creating uh, certificates for their work. And so we started to actually reach out to some of their collectors and the artists and the other platforms like Super Rare, who we did this partnership with on 10 uh, artists selling their um, NFTs for the first time. And what we kind of found is it is actually a lot broader than just uh, you know a handful of people. Um, I do think this is a, a significant movement. As I kind of said at the beginning, I think it's the start of a creator economy where the creators are out of the front. In terms of a specific sale, um, I think that it's always like any auction. Uh, there may be underlying uh, mechanics uh, and uh, people with vested interests that you know have a have a significant role 
uh, that they're playing. But I, I don't think this is um, analogous to, you know, a handful of people doing market manipulation. I think this is a broader story. I'm embarrassed to admit that my friend said to me about six months ago, a crypto-focused friend, that we should really focus on cornering some of this collectibles market. And I obviously completely ignored him. Uh, I'm now regretting that now. I think with some, I don't know whether that part has actually done well, but I presume they've all done well. With that in mind, I'm curious to you know what your digital art collection is like. Do you, I mean, are you accumulating a lot? Are you focusing more on the NFT side and the practical side, or are you building the digital art collection as well? So at Verisart, we provide infrastructure for title registry, effectively. So right now, there's a big problem on some of these marketplaces, particularly those that are not curated around fake identity. We saw only recently somebody claiming to be Banksy and selling almost a million dollars and of what weren't actually fake Banksy's. They were the real JPEGs. They just weren't um, sold by the artist that was claiming to be the artist. And so this problem of um, fake attribution, this problem that you know, artists kind of um, face in terms of fraud as the markets develop is something that we're focused on solving. And that's part of our um, arrangement with Super Air. In terms of personally, this is main, many regards full circle for me because 11 years ago, I built a digital art platform called Sedition, which represented and released digital editions by many well-known artists from Damien Hirst to Tracy Emin to Bill Viola, Shepard Ferry, Jenny Holzer and others. And so for a long time, it was actually kind of hard to show that there was real uh, value from a collector perspective in terms of wanting to kind of own these assets. Because 10 years ago, the view was, well, if it's on the internet, it's free. What's really changed mm -hmm. is the fact that you have this ERC-721 smart contract, which is this non-fungible token standard, which these crypto collectors are, you know, very, very comfortable purchasing assets that are backed by that. And by the way, it's not just around art. You can see, you know, sites like NBA Topshop that have sold almost a quarter of a billion of basketball clips. And so, again, I say it, it, it's broader than the art story. Actually, the market is um, bigger uh, outside of art in, in, in when you look at sport collectibles currently.